everyone, this is Joe, and welcome to the 50th episode of Joe DeRay's Cooks. Today I will show you how to make braised short ribs. I'm excited to share this easy recipe with you. I know that cooking this type of meat can be intimidating for some, but I'm here to teach you just how easy it is. It takes just a few minutes to prepare. This recipe is completely foolproof and it tastes even better than a restaurant. Braising is a cooking method where you brown the meat and you simmer it on low heat. First, you brown or sear the ribs at high temperature, then cook them in liquid at a lower temperature for a longer period of time. This is an excellent cooking method for tougher cuts of meat that will become tender after prolonged cooking. This is a perfect meal for Sunday dinner, a special occasion, or when you're having company over and you don't want to slave away in the kitchen. If you end up making this meal, send me an email at joedurayscooks at gmail.com or comment below this video and let me know how yours turned out. As a reminder, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're ready to get started, I'm ready to get started. So what are we waiting for? Let's stop talking and let's start cooking. This is what you'll need. Six bone-in short ribs, about five and three quarter pounds. Salt, extra virgin olive oil, one large Spanish onion cut into half inch pieces, two ribs of celery cut into half inch pieces, two large carrots peeled and cut into half inch round pieces, two cloves of garlic smashed, one and a half cups of tomato paste, two to three cups of red wine, two cups of water, one bunch of fresh thyme, and two bay leaves. First, preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Season each short rib generously with salt. Coat a pot large enough to accommodate all the meat and vegetables with olive oil and bring to a high heat. Now add the short ribs to the pan and brown very well, about two to three minutes per side. Don't overcrowd the pan, cook in batches if necessary. When the short ribs are very browned on all sides, remove them from the pan. Repeat this process when working in batches. While the short ribs are browning, puree the onions, carrots, celery, and garlic in a food processor until it forms a coarse paste. It should look like this. Remove the last batch from the pan when done. Now drain the fat. and coat the bottom of the same pan with fresh oil and add the pureed vegetables. Season the vegetables generously with salt and brown until they are very dark and crud has formed on the bottom of the pan, about five to seven minutes. Scrape the crud and let it reform. Scrape the crud again and add the tomato paste. Brown the tomato paste for about four to five minutes. Now add the wine and scrape the bottom of the pan. Lower the heat if things start to burn. Reduce the mixture by half. Now return the short ribs back to the pan. Add two cups of water, or until the water has just about covered the meat. Add the thyme and bay leaves. Sorry, I didn't shoot this part, but believe me, the thyme and bay leaves are in there. Now cover the pan and place it in the preheated oven for three hours. Check periodically during the cooking process and add more water if needed. 
remove the lid during the last 20 minutes of cooking to let things get nice and brown and to let the sauce reduce. Remove the pot from the oven. When done, the meat should be very tender but not falling apart. Serve it with the braising liquid. And now it's ready to serve. Here's the taster. It's amazing. It's perfect on like a rainy, damp, cold day like today. Mm. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm really looking forward to this. It just falls right off the bone. Oh. oh my God, this is incredible. Wow. The meat is so tender, it's so juicy. Lots of flavors in here. Wow. Definitely try this. If you do, send me an email at joederaysecooks at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.